Prince Harry sends well wishes to the 45,000 people in the London Marathon. Prince Harry has sent his well wishes to the individuals participating in the Virgin Money London Marathon on Sunday, and thanked them for helping to spread the extraordinary spirit of the event across the globe. The official London Marathon Instagram shared a video of the Royal, 36, alongside the caption which read, A special message from the Duke of Sussex to the 45,000 people taking on the Virgin Money London Marathon on Sunday. The Duke of Sussex who is patron of the London Marathon usually greets winners at the end and presents them with medals. In the video, and the Royal addresses the pandemic and can be heard saying, this year sadly it's not possible for everybody to run together on the streets of London in the 2020 Virgin Money London Marathon. Instead, 45, runners from across the UK, and 109 countries around the world, will run the 40th race in their own way, taking on the 26.2 miles, in their own communities. He continues, thanks to all of you, the extraordinary spirit of the London Marathon will continue to shine across the globe. While we won't be together in person, we are together in spirit. And the amazing tenacity of runners from around the world is a reminder of our strength and sense of community during these difficult times. I also want to say a huge thank you for everything you are doing to support so many charities who need our help now, more than ever. You are providing a lifeline. So please remember that when you cross the line wherever in the world it may be, have a great Sunday, we'll all be cheering you on. Good luck. The only time Prince Harry wasn't able to attend the London Marathon was in 2014, where he recorded a message and apologized to the runners, before praising them for their efforts. He said, Good morning everybody. Congratulations on making it this far to the London Marathon 2014. You've all done incredibly well so far to raise as much money as you have and now you're going to have to run for 26 miles around London which is something that I'm not doing this year and I'm very sad to be missing out. But I'm hugely privileged to be patron of the London Marathon. So much support. So much effort and so many volunteers go into this so hopefully everybody who's taking part and helping will have a really fantastic day. I'm sorry to be missing out but good luck and have fun. Last April, the Duke of Sussex made a surprise visit to the event to meet volunteers, watch the runners and present medals to the marathon and wheelchair winners despite rumours of his pregnant wife Meghan could give birth imminently. It is understood Harry had always planned to go. But with the birth of his child Archie due around the period, it was not announced in advance. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have told friends they are not ready to head back to the UK for a Christmas family reunion. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex reportedly have no plans of returning to the UK to spend the 25th of December with the Queen and the rest of the royal family marking the second year they will have been absent for Christmas. The couple, who last year reportedly spent the festive season with the Duchess mother Doria Ragland and their son Archie in Canada, previously spent every Christmas since their 2017 engagement at the Queen's Sandringham Estate. At this stage they are really enjoying their new life in California and their new home, a well-placed source told Vanity Fair's Katie Nicholl. There are currently no plans for them to return to the UK for Christmas. However, friends of the royal couple believe they won't be returning to the UK for the festive season. Because a family reunion would be tense after the reported fallout of the Fat Four. Let's just say that while things are better between Harry and his brother, it's not what it was. And I don't think anyone is ready for a cosy family Christmas right now, the source added. It comes as historian and royal biographer Robert Lacey is set to release a book called Battle of Brothers, which picks apart in uncompromising detail the feud between Prince William and Prince Harry. He said, when I started to look into this supposed feud between the two princes, I didn't believe it. I thought it was newspapers stirring up something that wasn't there. I didn't want to believe it, in truth. None of us does. Yet it most definitely exists. Actually, it's worse than anyone thinks. He continued, some say, oh, it doesn't matter. It will blow over, but that's not what historians will be saying in ten years' time. If this breach between the brothers is not healed in some way it will come to stand with the abdication crisis. And the death of Diana as one of the traumas that changed the monarchy. There is time to change things in a positive direction, but at the moment the palace is not working in that direction. Tomorrow, 
Sunday. One of the biggest UK and global events, the marathon with the largest number of people ever, 45,000. Under this epidemic circumstances, will the event continue or be delayed? Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.